Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and I want to wish you all a happy and creative new year. Today I'll uh, create a card using this stamp set which is by Simon Says Stamp and it's from their newest Valentine release which is called Better Together. So first of all I'm uh, using this old uh, Polaroid die and I'm going to cut out uh, a one Polaroid piece out of a uh, very heavy cardstock. I'm planning to create a Polaroid shaker card today and uh, since I know that I want to use uh, tiny little hearts for the inside of my shaker card, I've used this uh, die from my previous Simon Says Stamp release and uh, that's actually a background die that cut out uh, small little uh, hearts. But I'm not going to use this for my background, instead I just want to collect all these uh, tiny little hearts. I have used red cardstock to cut out those uh, tiny little hearts and they are actually cut out nicely but I need to poke them out since they are so tiny. So once I'm done with that I have, you can see I have collected them all there. And now it's time to do some stamping. I'm going to stamp my image with uh, black versa fine ink and I have these uh, two uh, pattern papers which are from a very old uh, pattern paper collection and I'm stamping uh, once on uh, the green pattern paper and uh, one more time on this off-white uh, pattern paper. Now the idea is to create a Valentine's um, card which is a shaker card but at the same time is a bit distressed and uh, looks uh, kind of vintage. So now I'm cutting out the inside of the pier. There are matching dies available for this stamp set that you can definitely use but for this particular card I didn't want to use uh, those dies because I didn't want to have that white border all around. It wouldn't add too much on my vintage uh, look and feel that I wanted to achieve here. And uh, now I'm using my finger dabbers with uh, distress ink on uh, my beers. I'm adding just a bit of um, green shade there and this will uh, bring them uh, more to life and add uh, just a bit of dimension on my image. And I did the same technique for the inside of the PR, so I think I'm using a scatter straw there. And uh, as always, you can find all the supplies that I'm using just below the video in uh, the details area on YouTube, as well as uh, a full list of supplies on my blog. And uh, now that everything is nice and uh, shaded, I'm uh, going ahead and sticking one on top of the other, and my paper, paper piece uh, PRs are ready. To finish off my cute uh, little pair there, I've uh, used uh, my glue pen and I'm going to stick one of those tiny little hearts on uh, one of the pairs. And uh, just to make it pop even more, I'm going to be using my wink of Stella on top of it. And that is going to be the focal point on my card. And I'm uh, going to be using my cuddle bag again with uh, this uh, die and I'm uh, trying to create just a... Um, small little uh, curved piece of paper that is going to ground the piers on uh, the inside of my shaker card. Now I have uh, this uh, pattern paper that doesn't uh, really <laughs> look much but it's actually off-white and it's very thin and it's pattern paper. So I'm going to stick one on top of the other. My base is a uh, hard cardstock, the one that I've uh, cut it out in the beginning of this video and I'm sticking on top this off-white pattern paper. This off-white pattern paper that I've used here is actually the same pattern paper that I've used for the inside of the pier and because it was too thin I had to use this uh, heavy cardstock at the back. And of course I had to use my finger dabbers with uh, distress ink to add more to the vintage look that I want my card to have. So I'm going uh, around the frame with a uh, scattered straw and uh, now I'm bringing in uh, my vintage photo. As you can see I'm not adding a lot of uh, ink, I'm just going around the edges here and there. And if you take a closer look just under the case with uh, my finger dabbers, you can see that I already pre-cut a white piece of uh, cardstock that is exactly the same size as my Polaroid frame. So you can see they perfectly match and this is going to be the back of my Polaroid. So first of all I'm adding some adhesive on uh, top of my white uh, piece and I'm going to cover it up with uh, some pattern paper. All the pattern papers that I'm using are from the same collection and uh, actually it's a Christmas collection I believe from last year or probably back two years ago. 
And you can see that you don't really need a Valentine's collection to create a Valentine's card. You can always use uh, pattern papers from any collection you have in your stash. At this point I'm trying to decide where this uh, ground for the piers is going to go and once I'm happy with the placement, I'm ha I have to check again and again and once I'm happy with the placement I'm adding uh, a bit of uh, adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick those uh, two pieces together. I'll be using my scissors to cut out the excess and the background for my Polaroid is ready. Now all I have to do is to stick the piers on top but first I need to stamp the so I'm using VersaFine ink again and I'm stamping where I want everything to go and I'm doing that because I need uh, the details of the stamp that I didn't cut out. And now my image has uh, stems and I also know where to stick uh, those uh, tiny little leaves. So first of all I'm going to stick my paper pierced uh, pierce there and uh, now I can stick my uh, tiny little uh, leaves. I'm using my glue pen to stick them down and uh, it's always nice to have this um, picker. I'm going to link uh, this tool uh, down below and uh, it's nice because you can uh, stick uh, things uh, from uh, one uh, tip and you can uh, move things around with the other tip. My background is ready so I have to stick my acetate at the back of my Polaroid frame. I'm using uh, some adhesive at the back and I have already cut out a piece of uh, Acetate, as you can see here, it's actually a bit longer than it should, but that's not a problem. Once uh, it's uh, there, I'm going to use my scissors and uh, make sure that uh, I cut out all the excess. Remember that you don't have to buy acetate for this uh, type of cards. You can always keep uh, acetate from uh, packaging from uh, your uh, other supplies. And uh, now I'm trying to catch the light, so you can see I have my window there. And this is the time where I need to add all those tiny little hearts that I have cut out in the beginning of uh, this video. So these, uh, all these uh, tiny little hearts are going to go at the center of uh, my background. And I'm also going to add uh, a few of uh, my sequins. I have this tube of uh, red sequins. And I'm not going to add too many of the sequins. I just uh, want a few as I want uh, the tiny hearts to be the main uh, thing that is moving there. For the back I'm using this huge roll of uh, foam adhesive and I'm uh, going to create a frame around the window so I have to cut out thinner strips and uh, once that's there I can uh, go ahead and stick it on top of my Polaroid background. The sentiment I'm using is also from the same uh, stamp set and uh, it's perfect for uh, this image. I'm also using VersaFine black ink to stamp uh, my sentiment and uh, now my focal point is ready. All I have to do now is to create my card base. I have already created my card base that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half out of uh, cardstock and now I'm cutting out this uh, solid red pattern paper at uh, the same size as my card base so that's uh, again four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using adhesive at the back and I'll cover up the whole card base. As you can see I didn't use any foam tape at the back since I didn't want to add even more bulk on my card. And uh, all uh, that's left to do now is to stick my shaker piece on top. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel as well as leave me a comment. Thank you all for watching.